What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I am actually out on a work trip this week, so I can put a little something special together for you guys since we couldn't get into the studio and do an actual blind recording. So this is when we went to Buffalo Trace to pick out our Buffalo Trace barrel. So when we showed up to Buffalo Trace, uh, man, there was like 200 people in line lined up for Eagle Rare. So we went inside after getting through the line, kind of got a little VIP treatment through there. Went inside, this is the vault, and man, there is absolutely everything in there. They try and keep one of everything from every year, so you can imagine everything that's in there. It's it's impressive to say the least. So obviously it's behind some uh, big steel steel doors, almost like a jail cell. This is Susanna. She was the one that gave us our tour and helped us with our barrel pick. She did an amazing job as always. This is actually the second barrel pick that I've been on at Buffalo Trace with her, and she is absolutely fantastic. So this is every millionth barrel of Buffalo Trace that they did. And the seventh millionth barrel is the last one. That's the barrel head from that. And uh, we then walked over to one of the Rick houses. And this is the Rick house right off the gift shop. They also have some experimental stuff in here, as you guys will see. Uh, there's some stuff labeled OFC. There's some stuff labeled peated whiskey. There's some stuff, uh, all, all kinds of absolutely crazy off the wall experimental stuff that you will see in here. Uh, if you look closely, pause the video and look at some of the barrel heads closely, you guys can really, uh, really get an awesome little inside peek at some of the stuff that they've been, they've been doing. We then got to see something that I've never got to see before, and that is Warehouse V. And it is a single barrel, and that is their 7 millionth barrel that they have aging right now. And uh, when they reach 8 million barrels, they will take out the 7 millionth and put in the 8 millionth and then bottle the 7 millionth. So that was really super cool to see. And then uh, we went over to the bottling facility, and they had some barrels marked 1995. We asked Susanna about it, and they are consolidating some barrels from 1995. So uh, you can imagine how well that is. Just go ahead and do the math. It's 2021 right now. So that was really also uh, really, really cool to see. From there, we got to see a lot of other really cool stuff and then went over to Warehouse H, which is where Blanton's comes from. And this is where we did our barrel tasting. We did get to taste through four barrels this time instead of three. So hopefully their stocks are getting a little bit better. It's what it may look like. And uh, they also had some real glassware for us this time, which was awesome. So we had A, B, C, and D that we got to pick from. So from here, we tasted through all four barrels. And kind of, it's always interesting to see. Everyone kind of gets real quiet and real serious once the actual tasting starts. And then everyone kind of gets their notes together, writes stuff down sometimes. Sometimes people write a lot of notes, little notes. But yeah, basically just smelling and tasting through each barrel and seeing which one we like the best. And we got down to two. We couldn't make a decision, so we went and took, took a walk around the Rick House while Susanna filled out a blind taste test for us because, you know, that's how we do things is blind. So we picked the two top barrels that everyone liked, and from there... So from there, we got to take a unsupervised trip around the warehouse. And fun fact, you cannot walk all the way around. The very back is, does not have a walkway. What's that? Okay. <laughs> well, we're coming back. I promise. Well, it's the one way. So, yeah, we have to go in it. Oh, how about this? So, Susanna brought us back, and we voted on our favorite barrel. Who's voting for right? Who's voting for left? He said unanimous, guys. I was... <laughs> Screwed it up. That's Let's pretty good. Down. I would say, I mean, that's majority by a bit. So that's pretty good. So I want to thank you guys this week for hanging out with us. And uh, sorry we couldn't do an actual episode of, you know, blind tasting review for this Friday. But um, like I said, you know, work got in the way. And I did want to put out something for you guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this. And uh, hopefully you can join us on our next barrel pick. Cheers, everyone. And drink blind.